decades ago, we were introduced to Christopher Robin's character, and that was when Winnie the Pooh came into play. Winnie the Pooh books captured the heart of millions, also has a dark past that affected the life of the real Christopher Robin Milne. Christopher's father, Alan Alexander Milne, started the Winnie the Pooh series based on his son and his pretend play with his stuffed animals. Alan desperately needed to move on from the war times as other people as well, and that was when he drew inspiration from his own son, Christopher Robin. His six-year-old son loved playing in the woods with his stuffed animal teddy bear and would call the bear Winnie. As an only child, Christopher often played by himself, and his mother encouraged him to pretend play with his stuffed animals, Donkey, Tiny Piglet, Kangaroo and Tigger. Once Alan's writings became public and popular, everyone wanted to interview the little boy, Christopher Robin. The audience wanted more and they got more. The stories were closely related to the son's pretend play with his stuffed animals. Alan started to write more and more Winnie the Pooh children's books. Christopher Robin was receiving gifts, letters and going to various public events and performed in plays. He enjoyed it early on, as he was getting the attention and genuinely felt that he was getting the fame, love and attention. It made him feel special to know people wanted to be his friend. Alan's extended family did not approve of his limelight and complained to his parents that they were robbing him of his childhood. Alan soon realised and stopped publishing books. But people didn't stop. They wanted more and more. As Christopher grew up, his parents put him in boarding school, and there he was bullied about Winnie the Pooh. Over time, he started to hate the stories and his father for putting him into this. He also hated the fact that his name was exposed to the entire world. He later on wanted to join the army, and instead of taking him on the basis of Christopher himself, he would be recognised as the famous Christopher Robin. Everyone felt he deserved the job, and this angered him more because he felt his father had robbed him from his accomplishments. Christopher didn't have to work, as his books made the family so rich, but he refused to take any money from the books and wanted to support himself. He later fell in love and got married to his first cousin. His mother was strongly opposed to this and didn't want anything to do with her son, but his father just wanted him to be happy and gave his blessings. After marriage, both husband and wife opened a bookshop together and had a daughter later on. Christopher's daughter had cerebral palsy and needed 24-hour care. That was the first time he took some money from the Winnie the Pooh fortune. He wanted the best medical treatment for his daughter. His father passed away and his mother still never wanted to see Christopher again. Disney eventually bought the Winnie the Pooh rights and gave money to Christopher who in turn donated it. He kept some money for his daughter's treatment at a facility. Christopher donated his stuffed animals and opened up later that he could finally look at his father's childhood books without the pain that was attached. Christopher passed away in 1996. While Winnie the Pooh has a lot of stigma attached to it within his family, it brought out millions of smiles all around the world.